I'm leaving my house today. The local library is doing a pottery workshop and I don't get out enough and I really like pottery and I thought it would make a good video, so oh, why not? Um, it's unfortunately not like a start to finish process. I don't get to reenact Ghost, um, but I do get to paint the piece and you know, that's good enough for me. Most of the pieces are going to be functional type pieces, so vases, ring dishes, maybe mugs? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna try to get there like slightly early so I can snag the item I want. Um, and also so I can pick a place where I'll be the most inconspicuous while filming because when I tell you I'm terrified to film in public, it, it doesn't even begin to cover the amount of severe fear that I feel when I have to be in a room full of people and I'm recording myself. <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> I'm really excited though and I hope that I will be able to create something cute. I currently am like complete empty brain um but i i'm going to sketch a little bit first to try to get some ideas going so that i don't show up and just like make this and in terms of clothing i'm not wearing this i know i have this dress that i thrifted recently and i think it's so pretty i know it's like verging on mordor outside but this is really thin. I'm gonna get dressed, I'm gonna do some sketching, and then we're gonna head to the library. I have to try to do something cool. So, here it goes. Don't ask me why, but I'm literally so nervous. I think because this involves recording in public. <laughs> My least favorite activity ever. But we're gonna do this. Once I arrived, I was given a contact sheet to fill out and a little palette for all of my paint. We were also shown a couple of examples of what the glaze would look like after it was fired, which was really helpful. There were a ton of colors and tools to use. The first thing I did was put my name on the bottom and a little too late I realized that I probably should have put like my actual full first and last name. But with 141 subscribers, I think they'll know who I am. So the first thing I did was I selected my base color. One of the very first things that we were told was not to squeeze out too much paint because it dries really fast. But unfortunately, I have anxiety. So I white knuckle gripped that thing harder than Carrie Underwood did the wheel before Jesus took it, thus creating the blob. I went over the blue area about three or four more times because we were told that if we were thin with it, it would be streaky and possibly see-through. We were also told it probably wasn't a great idea to put lighter colors on top of darker ones, but uh, I've always been a little helter-skelter, so I just globbed it on there as thick as I could and prayed to Patrick Swayze that it would turn out okay. And yeah, I know, that's my last ghost reference, I promise. We were also given these handy dandy fans to help speed up the drying process between layers of paint. However, I'd already worked out for the day, so I propped mine up on my phone stand. All right, I know what you're thinking, but I am not, in fact, painting the powerhouse of the cell, otherwise known as mitochondria. You sure about that? But fear not, the main character of this trinket dish will soon be revealed. So if you've watched honestly any of my previous videos, you may have heard me once or twice rant, rave, and possibly even honk just a little about geese. It's true, 
I have a slowly growing obsession with these derpy little avian cuties. It all began on that faded date in Target whenever I picked up my beloved Bagushka. Ever since then, I've gone a little honkers for geese, with my most recent deep dive being into the game Untitled Goose Game. If you haven't played it, it's absolute loads of fun. I was pretty much cackling maniacally the entire time, and I definitely still had it on the mind whenever I walked into this pottery painting class, and thus my inspiration was born. A little goose in a little pond. The executive decision that I made to have the goose upside down in the water, thus branding it a silly goose, is probably in the top five decisions I've ever made in my life. Okay, so I just got done. That was really fun. It was a little stressful because I did not in fact have time to sketch everything that I wanted to beforehand, but I'll live. I'm really happy with my silly goose that I ended up doing and lots of other people were a fan and were giving me lots of compliments, definitely making me have a larger head than usual. So yeah, I'm super excited to see how it looks when it's done. The instructor said it would take about 10 days for them to get around to firing it and giving us a call to say that it's done. So yeah, I guess I'll see you in about 10 days. <laughs> Well, feel free to temporarily call me John Felix Anthony Senior Jr. because my time is now. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. That's right, folks. I just received word that it's time to pick up Mr. Silly Goose. So I just put on my business porgs and I'm ready to go get him. Take